Brown Body Fit by Amy, and this is your first trimester prenatal core workout. So this workout is specific to the first trimester, and I am in my first trimester. And we are gonna be down on the mat targeting our core muscles. So all through the midsection, abs, back. We all know these are really important to stay strong during pregnancy and really important in delivery, but we also have to make sure that we're doing things safely. So we will be down on the mat. We won't be flat on your back. We'll just be doing a few exercises that are specific to your first trimester. So all you need for this workout is a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start in a standing position. We're gonna get a quick little warm up. We're just gonna march it out, roll through the shoulders, even though we are staying in the core today. We wanna make sure that we get everything warm. And our first few moves are gonna be some standing ab moves. Big deep breath in. So again, I've said this before, but in this first trimester, it is totally fine to keep doing the workouts that you have been doing. If you have been working out regularly, let's roll through our back. And just the biggest thing is you wanna make sure, once you know you're pregnant, that you monitor your heart rate and your intensity level. So I like to say, on a scale of one to 10, let's go one more. Trying to get about a six or a seven being your highest. Hold it here and just gentle rolls side to side. So that would be, maybe you're out of breath a little bit, but you can still hold a conversation. You certainly don't want to be so out of breath that you can't talk. That's a little too high. Roll it in and wrap it up. And let's do some little torso rotations. Make sure that you're turning in your knees and your hips. Side to side. Reach across long. Breathe. Over. So starting with some standing ab moves. I'm just gonna do a little standing crunch. So we're just gonna bring the knees in and a little bit of a crunch forward. So if you're like me, and maybe this is your second pregnancy and you're already popped a little bit, as you can tell, my belly is popped, then I'm not gonna do very much of this. I'm gonna focus more on bringing my knees up so I can strengthen through here. Once our belly has popped, especially in that second and third trimester, we don't want to do any compression exercises. So if you're still pretty flat in your first trimester, it's okay to do a little bit more coming in. Focus more just on pulling the belly button. If you popped a little bit or you're already showing, I want you to keep it more just with the knees lifting. So we're working our lower core from here. So just really important. We don't want to compress those muscles. We don't want to do things that are going to cause diastasis recti, which is ab separation. It might happen anyway. Okay, there are ways to repair it afterwards, but we're gonna do the things we can to keep everything strong, but not increase the chances of that. Good, so then let's just take it a little bit side. So it's okay to compress a little bit from the side, and again, I'm not going very much. If you are not showing it, you could go a little bit more. We're just getting through those sides, we're not twisting, we're just moving laterally also getting our heart pumping a little bit, which is a little added bonus. For three, two, last one, each way. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it down to the mat. Take it down slowly. And we're not gonna do anything flat on our back. So it is okay, again, if you aren't showing yet, or you're in the really early weeks, keep doing some of that core work but again once you are showing let's not do any compression exercises and let's get in the habit of not going flat onto our back because we don't want to do that in our second and third trimester so I'm gonna go down just holding here and I'm gonna bring my knees in from here so again a little bit of the same motion from that standing position and then I'm gonna drop it down to my elbows nice and easy so really small just lifting and lowering here here and then if you're feeling good about that both knees up both knees down so I'm not compressing I'm just stabilizing in the core from here and if you are pretty strong in the core and it feels okay in your back you can take it here push it out here push it out 
I wouldn't do too much of that if it feels like it's, it's uh, pulling on your back. But if you feel okay with it, you can take it there. If not, just keep it here. here. You're gonna feel your hip flexors at the top of the legs a little bit. It's okay. Breathe. That's three, two, and one. Slowly bring it up from those hands. Take the knees out to the side. So then we'll stay here, starting on our elbows one more time. And then we're just gonna extend out and in. So start almost like a little leg slide. In fact, that's exactly what it is. This is really great for targeting those lower, deepest, deepest abdominals or transverse abdominals. It's so important. Our inner core, transverse abs, and our pelvic floor. You'll see these leg slides in a lot of my postnatal workouts. These are really important for recovery after, after pregnancy and delivery in general, but especially if you have diabetes recti or you have C-section. So if you're feeling good about that, you can take it up to pushing out one at a time. If it bothers your back, keep it a little higher. If you can feel it feels pretty strong, take it a little lower. Breathe. We'll go for four, three, two, and one. Very carefully, gently roll onto your side. So we're gonna come into a side plank. We love side planks in general, but they are really great for pregnancy. You can do them up until your third trimester. I like to modify on my knee by then. If you're used to doing side planks, you can stack or cross your feet, bring it all the way up and hold, pull your belly button, hug your baby towards your body. If you wanna drop that knee, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Pull everything in tight. Just hold here, keep breathing. And then we're gonna do a little down and up. You don't have to hand, have your hand here. For me, it helps me keep everything pulled in tight. And again, if you're stronger on this and you wanna stay all the way up on those feet, totally fine. If you're used to side planks, great exercise for pregnancy. Last two, one more, and relax. Bring those knees in, little stretch over to the side. And then let's swing our legs around other side. So we'll come into the side plank from here. Again, totally fine. You can stack across the feet, bring everything all the way up or down on the knee with me. Pull everything in tight in the center core. Make sure you're breathing. Hug the baby towards you. And then let's take it low the hips and up. Breathe. If that feels like too much for you, just hold or do as much as you can. Last four. down slowly, come up, and then just take it over to the side. So let's go ahead and turn into our mat. Get a little quick stretch back into that child's pose. And then we're gonna come up onto all fours. And we're just gonna do a little cat to cow. So you may know this from yoga or from stretching. We're just gonna inhale, pull the belly button in, lift, let the head drop. Exhale, and I just want you just to come back to neutral. We don't really wanna arch the back, push the belly out. Just come back to neutral. It's a little bit more of a stretch, but really good. Get used to this exercise and do it all throughout your pregnancy because it will really help not only your core and your back stay strong, but also help prevent back pain, which is a very common thing in pregnancy for obvious reasons, because everything is rolling forward. But this is a really great stretch, but also a strengthener. Take it back and reach, stretch. So we're gonna stay here. We can do a couple quick plank variations. We're gonna not make them very long. First trimester is a time that you can still be doing planks as long as you know that you don't have diastasis recti. So diastasis is ab separation. You might have it from a previous pregnancy or your doctor may have already told you 
Usually it doesn't happen until the second or third trimester. Um, but if you know that, then please take a stretch break or you can go back to those side planks. But if not, we're gonna start with a little bear plank. So you're still on all fours. I want you to pull that belly button up and in, and we're gonna lift up, up on those toes, lift the, lift the knees off the ground for three, two, one, and then drop it down. So it's harder than it looks, right? Hands are directly beneath the elbows and the shoulders. Lift up and hold. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Lift up and hold. Breathe. Three, two, one. Pull everything in. And it is totally fine. If you can't get off the ground with this, just pull the belly button up and in. Hold. Three, two, one. And then release. You can still do the motion without getting your knees off the ground. But if you can, bring those knees up. Three, two, one and down let's do two more lift up three two one and last one breathing in three two one and down stretch it back so we're doing a few more from the bear plank position the reason we don't want to do planks in the second or third trimester even though you might be strong enough to do it is that all of that weight is pushing down and that can increase our chances for diastasis recti which we do not want if we can avoid it it might happen which is okay again it's fine but we're gonna not do things that increase that pressure pushing down so in this first trimester though we're gonna take it to that bear plank one more time. We're gonna come up, we're gonna walk it out, walk it in, rest it down. Lift, out, in, and down. Lift, out, in. Notice I'm alternating my lead leg. It doesn't matter that much, but if you can, so you're walking out to a full plank, drop it down. Again, if you can't get those knees up, then I just want you to keep with that little lift. Don't worry about extending the legs then drop it down. Keep your hand up, out, in, and down. If you're feeling super strong with it, and you just want to keep the knees off the ground and feet off the ground, you can. If you want that little rest in between, we like that too. One more each way. And drop it down, stretch it back, breathe. Whew. So one last thing from here. We're gonna hold in that front plank position on your elbows, again, not for very long. We're holding it here, elbows, pull that belly button up and in, and then small little drops in the knees and up. So you can see we're focusing a lot on things that will engage that transverse ab, the deep, deep core which are so important for core, and especially core recovery. We're gonna go four, pull in, three, two, last one, and stretch it back. That is all we are going to do. Stretch it back, reach. And then come up into a seated position. Bring those legs out in front. Reach it forward, round in your back. So again, it's tough because we do want to really make sure we keep this core strong in pregnancy, reach it up and over. But we want to make sure we're doing the right things, the appropriate things, the things that are not going to increase our chances for separation, the things that are not going to hurt us or the baby. And let's let your head drop, give it a little neck stretch. Flip it over to the side. Back to the center. Other side. So we'll do lots of things to keep our core strong, including our upper and lower body work as well. Okay, keep breath in. But the real core work will come in our postnatal workouts, right? We just wanna stay safe, stay strong, and deliver a healthy baby, right? You did it, guys. That was your first trimester core workout. 
great job everybody.